In this video I will show you how to set up achievements on the PCSX2 emulator, specifically for Battlefield 2 Modern Combat Online. The first thing you'll need to do is go to retroachievements.org. Uh, this is the listing for Battlefield 2 Modern Combat Online. There is a single player listing as well for achievements, but the online mode has 82 achievements that can be obtained. You'll want to go to the website first and create an account. Once you've registered your account, remember your login details because we're going to use them on the emulator. So go ahead and open up PCSX2 and go to Settings and Achievements. Using your Retro Achievements account, go ahead and put in your login details. And once you've logged in, you want to click on the Enable Achievements button. For Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, you'll want to enable the Hardcore Achievements, so make sure you click Enable Hardcore Mode. This just means that you aren't using save states and rewind, um, which isn't really possible for an online game anyway, so you might as well just go with the hardcore mode right away. If you're using the most recent version of PCSX2, then this is all you need to do. You're pretty much done, the achievements will now work. However, if like me you're using an older version, you'll need to patch your ISO. The reason that Battlefield 2 Modern Combat players use the older version of PCSX2 is because it has better Vulcan support. The most recent version only really works while playing in software mode. In the description I'll give you a link to a forum post that gives you a download for the patch, and also a link to xdilta that will allow you to apply this patch to your ISO. Once you have xdilta, it's really easy to use, all you have to do is open up the patch and then locate your ISO file and then assign an output folder and then just patch. The only issues I ran into were that when you have both games in your library it's indiscernible which one's been patched and which hasn't so I just moved all of my games out of my library and only had the patched version in my library so that way I could only click on the patched version but also for some reason whenever the game's patched the output doesn't include the extension .iso, so you have to manually add this in to get it to be recognized by PCSX2. So just go ahead and click rename and add .iso at the end, and then just relink to the patched version of the game. Now that the achievements have been enabled and the game's been patched, if like me you've already played Battlefield 2 Modern Combat and unlocked some of the ranks or kill achievements, Upon logging in, it should automatically pop up for you. If you have a lot of these things already unlocked, you'll notice that there are error messages in the background. Really what's going on there is it's just not allowing you to unlock too many achievements at once. It's kind of like a feel safe for anyone that's cheating or somehow glitching the achievements. But all you have to do is log out and then log back in and those remaining achievements should unlock. But that's basically it, now that you've got everything enabled, achievements should pop up in game. One that I really like is get 10 kills on each level, because I think it'll really encourage people to vote for different maps, um, not just play the same map over and over again. Hopefully once everyone enables achievements, um, we'll start to see more variety in the map voting. I want to say a huge thank you to Snow for implementing achievements for this game. This is actually the first um, online PS2 game that has now supports achievements. It's taken months of work for Snow to pull this all together, so I really appreciate that. Uh, and he said it's a much harder thing to add achievements to an online game compared to a single player game. So I hope this video helped you set up your achievements and I look forward to seeing more players uh, unlocking achievements. If you need any advice getting the game to work, the best place to ask is the BF2MC online discord which I'll also link in the description. So I hope this video helped and I look forward to seeing more players unlock achievements.